Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes. And today, I'll be reviewing the Gemini Jets Terminal, Mat, and Scaffolding. Okay, so the first thing you should know is the Terminal and the Mat are sold separately. They do not come together, so it'll cost you around $300 altogether to get both the Mat and the Terminal. The other thing you should know is with the Mat, it comes rolled up in a tube as poster board. So it doesn't, it's not like an actual mat. It's poster board which you lay out, and there's two poster board sections. You can see the seam in there. And yeah, it's made out of poster paper, so this is just temporarily. I'm having Legos and uh, old boxes hold down the sides, but I will get this uh, laminated and permanently glued or lathered or whatever uh, to a table. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I will say the details, though, are very, very nice on the uh terminals and the mat both have very good detail terminal also does light up which is nice and yeah you can see it there's a little black section in the bottom which you can line it up to oh, looks like i knocked one of the gates down there so yeah it comes with six smaller gates which you are supposed to only be able to fit up to a 757 in there. But if you're feeling ambitious, you could probably get a 767 or DC-10 in there like I have right here. And then one large international heavy gate, which can fit up to a 747-400. So now let's move on to the scaffolding. So here's the Gemini Jets scaffolding. It cost me about $50, but it does look really good. It fits well onto almost all the wide bodies, except for really the A380, including the 747. Um, it does not look very good on the narrow body, so it's, I would not use it with anything smaller, smaller than a 767. But, yeah, it is made out of plastic, but the details are very nice, and I'll show you the scaffolding on some other airplanes. So here we have the scaffolding on the Boeing 767. This is the A330 with the scaffolding. So the scaffolding does look nice on really any wide body plane you have, except for the A3. It doesn't look too good on the A380 because it won't fit some of the stuff. But yeah. Anyways, I'll give you guys a small airport update just to show you a little more around the airport and the details on the map and terminal. I'm going to do a quick airport update. This is Honolulu Airport in 2001. It's not super realistic um, because I, I just don't have enough planes for that. Like I should have more Hawaiian for doing this, but. Some of the stuff runs pretty close, like the Canadian Airlines DC-10 was retired in 2001. Well, the entire airline went bankrupt, so all of the airlines retired in 2001. And Lion took the delivery of their first 717 in 2001. So yeah, running pretty close, but it's all these planes were flying at some point in 2001. So let's start out with the FedEx uh, MD-11, which is having maintenance done over here at Honolulu Airport. And also, yeah, I don't have any ground service vehicles and I don't have the hangar, but I will be getting those soon. So we have this Canadian Airlines 747 uh, parked at gate. It'll be heading out to Vancouver today. Uh, we have the Qantas 767, which has just landed and will um, has come in from Sydney. Uh, we have this Canadian Airlines DC-10 which has just arrived from Calgary. We have a Northwest Airlines A320, which has, um, which has just been sitting at the gate there. We got the Air Transat 757, which has uh, just arrived from Vancouver. We have a Delta 757 from Salt Lake City. Uh, we have a Hawaiian Airlines 717, which will be making its way up to OGG today, Kalapuya Airport. And we have an American DC-10, which will be headed out to Los Angeles. We have a Canada 3000 A330, which will make its way down to Calgary. On the runway, we have a Hawaiian Airlines DC-10, which will be headed for Las Vegas. And we have a Philippine Airlines A330, which will be heading to Manila today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys back next time.